Working on a BMW today, it's an E90 3 Series with a 330i and it's got that N52 engine. I'm gonna see what's going on with this with the fault, just checking the fault codes. The engine light comes on occasionally, it's got some noises from the engine as well. Lack of power, I think they said as well. Crankshaft exhaust camshaft reference and it's an it's a two alpha ninety nine. So it's to do with the Vanos. I'm gonna bring up some live data on that. See what's going on. If there's anything with the Vanos, there it is. Vanos. I'll just bring all of these up. So you've got minus 115 degrees on the exhaust and the inlet is plus 119 I'll start the car and see what happens to them the inlet's moving a bit very slightly the exhaust isn't moving at all so I'm not sure if it's being controlled Here's the solenoids that control it, I'm on the bottom one, that's the exhaust one. And the red, the one with the red wire. No, it's white with a red stripe. And it is being controlled. So something's happening. They go into the brown one, let's see what happens. That's just the on battery voltage. So the solenoid appears to be getting a control. There's no dipstick, so I'm going to just go by this. Engine oil level is okay. I can also go by it on the dash here. I've removed the oil pressure, so the level's okay. So I'm going in to see what this is by removing the oil pressure sensor, going into where that is here from this kit. I'm going to start the car and see what the pressure is. Okay. Gauge is facing the wrong way. Four bar. It's got plenty of pressure. I'm going to set that there. Just pick the revs up a bit. That seems fine. The pressure's increasing when I pick up the revs. So it's not an oil problem, an oil supply problem. So what I need to do now, what I need to do now is fit the timing pins. I was thinking about doing it cam crank correlation. And I thought with variable valve timing, especially with a known fault on one of them that's flagging a fault code, I think the exhaust camshaft um, position to the crank is not where it wants it to be, and that's why we're getting that fault code. So the solenoid works. I've taken it out and activated it with the power probe, and it, you can see the inside bit of it moving. So the solenoid's working. It's got good oil pressure, and it's full of oil. So the next thing to check is the tire that's really all that's left. It's being controlled. I'll check the timing and see what's going on with that. It may be a stretch chain. Here's the timing kit that I'm using. I've put that in there, TDC mark. On this one I've adjusted it so that it's on 12 stripes coming up. Because the pin is quite tight and it's awkward to get to. So. I'm at TDC, this one lines up, that's the intake, and the dowel would line up, this one, it's not quite there, I can't get the dowel in either, so I'll see if I can adjust this, this one cam, and see how I get on there, and if I build it up, it did say it was out of alignment on the exhaust side, and that's what the timing pins are saying as well.
I'll see if I can adjust it. You do have to take quite a bit off though. All of this that you see lying over there. That's all got to come off to do it. It's a bit of a nightmare just to check the timing. Backed off the 16 mils and managed to align it up. That's how it should look. So that's in there flush. That's in there flush so we know it's all tight. And so is that. There's a dowel here. And then there's these two points that go into the sprockets at the front. Kind of look a bit like that. They stick out. So that lines up. It's all in time. So I'm going to tighten them. Turn it two turns round on the crank. See if the pins will still go back in. And if they do, there's my TDC mark. 12 stripes. Uh, if, they, if it all lines up, I'm going to build it up. But that matches the fault code. The exhaust one was out of time. And that's what the fault code was. That's the part number. It looks like YAL866. I've had it for a long time, so the writing's faded a bit. But it's the extended DTC indicator. Tap dead center indicator, that thing. That's just how it works. You just press the, the piston presses that up and you just see where it gets to the top. In case anybody was wanting one. How's it back together again? If you want to remember which way these go, the way I remember is there's two solenoids, they're both the same. And the top one's for the oil control of the van house, right, and the inlet, and the bottom one's for the control of the exhaust. So I think of when you're doing an oil change and, you know, you'd take the, the oil goes in at the top and you'd take it out at the bottom of the car. So I remember it that way, in is at the top and out is at the bottom. And the red striped, if you want the wires to be in the right place, the red stripe is going to be for the exhaust, so like red for hot. And the other one above it has a blue stripe, so that would be like cold, cold air going in, hot air going out. It's just how I remember it. Might help you if you ever need to remember which was which, if you can remember. Now I'll see if it's working. Hope this worked. No fault codes. The engine is running. And I've got no fault codes. So let's look at the data stream. See if there's any change here. Select all. Ah, that's changed. It's minus 1.8 and it's moving now. So we have got a change going on here. I'm going to have a look at the car at the front. I've got a different pattern. The duty cycle's almost 50% and before it was much different. I can't remember what it was before, whether it was more like 85, 90 on or off, I can't remember, but it wasn't 50% anyway. So now it's working, the duty cycle's changed as well. So in this case, I'll check the faults one last time, but it looks like it's happy because that's changing and it wouldn't change before. Rev it up. Wow, that soon revs up there. This should go a lot better now, judging by that. Right, let's see fault codes one last time. No fault codes. Good. couple of things to note though, when you're doing this, the chain's obviously stretched for it to be out of sync, so you need a chain. And the bolts that you back off and adjust the timing are one time use only as far as I know. So they need to be done as well. You would replace them at the same time. This was just to prove what the fault is. And I think it's proved it quite nicely. Thanks for watching, hopefully this was helpful to somebody.